Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create your first middleman project. And then we're gonna look at what all the different files and folders middleman creates for us by default. And we're gonna run our middleman project on a server and we'll be able to see it served up on our web browser. First thing I wanna do is show you guys how to get started with creating your first middleman site. I'm gonna open up a terminal or a command prompt, and in my case, I just have one here inside of my text editor. And inside of this command prompt, you just wanna type middleman in it, and then you wanna type the name of the middleman website that you wanna create. In my case, I'm just gonna create a site called GA site for a Draft Academy site. And this will basically just be the website that we're gonna use for this course. Now. One thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that you're running this command inside of the folder that you want this middleman site to be created. In my case, I'm in my documents folder and I want to make my middleman project inside of there. So I'm just going to click enter and middleman is going to go off and it's going to start running a bunch of stuff. It's going to grab some code and some default files for you to use in your project. Inside of this documents folder over here, you'll notice that a new folder has been created called GA site. And this is now the folder that we're gonna use to store all the files and all the um, images and resources that we're gonna use in our middleman website. Before I talk about what each of these folders and files does, I first want to show you how you can view your website online. So back down here in the terminal, I'm gonna type in the following command, middleman server, just like that. What this is gonna do is it's gonna take all the files and folders and resources in our middleman website and it's gonna compile them together and it's gonna serve them up on our local web server. In most cases, it's called localhost. And then we'll be able to view that website from that local web server on our browser. So I'm just gonna click enter. And you can see down here, it says inspect your site configuration at http colon forward slash forward slash localhost 4567. So if we go over to our web browser, I wanna go up to localhost 4567, and I'm just gonna click enter. And you'll see that we get this page here, it says uh, middleman is running, and this is like the base uh, website that we're gonna be using for our middleman project. So now you can see how the middleman website gets served and all the code that you write, you can test it inside of this localhost environment. So now that we've looked at um, serving up our content and now that you can deploy your website onto your local host server i want to talk to you about some of these files that got created by default and inside of our ga site folder the first big folder that we need to worry about is this source folder and this is the folder that you're going to be working with the most this is where all of the uh, files and images static resources uh, pages posts for your website are going to live and so you can see a lot of these folders are pretty self-explanatory we have this images folder and this is going to be keeping all the images and you know any of the uh, image resources on our site. We have JavaScripts folder. Any JavaScript files that you have on your site are gonna go in there. We have this layouts folder. And inside this layouts folder, we have this layout.erb file, and this is here by default. And this is basically a file that's gonna be used as a layout for all of the pages on our website. And so a layout is like a skeleton or a template that all the pages on your website are gonna use. So a layout might have like a header inside of it, a footer inside of it, maybe a navigation menu. And you can then insert, you know, specific pieces of content into that layout or into that template. And so, you know, all you could have a bunch of different pages on your site with different content, but they'd be using the same layout. And so the look and the feel and basically the user interface of the site is gonna look the same. So we can put all of our layouts inside this folder and we're gonna talk about that in future videos. And then there's the style sheets folder. So this is where any of your CSS files, any of your style sheets uh, are gonna go. And then down here, we just have this index.html.erb file. And this is just gonna be a content file in our website. So in our case, this is just the home page in our website. And you'll see as we get more into middleman, we can store a bunch of different data files you know, with different pages on our website or different posts if you're making a blog inside of files just like this. And then we have this .git ignore file. Ironically enough, you can kind of just ignore this file. Um, this is used by uh, 
a program called Git, and Git is basically just a program that helps you manage the different files on your computer and um, manage like projects with people on different computers. So you don't really need to worry about this too much. And the last and most important file is this config.rb file, and this is a Ruby file, and this is like the main sort of settings for your app. So um, you can see in here there's a, a bunch of different things and basically you can just configure your middleman project add different dependencies and, and things like that inside of here so this is a very important file and we're going to talk more about using that in the future and then over here there's this gemlock file and this is a, a file that's used by ruby and we can um, basically add different dependencies for our website so if there's like different uh, plugins or add-ons or dependencies that you want to use in your middleman site you can specify them in here and then middleman will sort of automatically include them into your website. And so this is also another really important file. But for the most part, if you're you know, just interested in, in using middleman, it's gonna be this source folder. This is where you're gonna spend 90% of, of your time on middleman. So that's sort of a basic overview of the default folders that are available in middleman. And in the next uh, few courses, in the next few lessons, we're gonna talk about you know, how to use uh, each one of them. So stick around for that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.